so I may not be able to uh, actually show it down in here it did say that the lady did say that they don't like uh, video cameras and stuff so we'll see how it goes but uh, I'm heading down here to find out what the tour guide tells me oh the day I break these chains I'm bound for the life of the simple things good morning everybody I just you know I don't usually stay the same place two nights in a row but I did over here at Walmart I just I didn't want to uh, have to go and hunt around last night I just wanted to get to my spot and uh, hit the sack so it's about 630 I got to be over at the day labor spot at 7 to get my protective equipment and then uh, pick up a guy that I'm gonna drive down to the job site so warming up the engine here getting ready to roll out and I'll talk to you a little bit later today some people were asking you know they wish I would have talked more about what I'm doing in the jobs so I'm gonna try to do that today well just got all done and wrapped up and heading back to the day labor spot to get paid and everything the job was pretty easy uh, all we did is well I mean there was one thing that was kind of a pain we we had to carry uh, 36,000 watt inverter up to the rooftop so that was kind of hoofing it and then the one that was bad that was being replaced we had to carry back down but other than that it was pretty easy just assembling a few things and and uh you know uh, packing stuff back out after we were done we were helping out the electrician on a solar job so that was pretty cool pretty easy work and uh hot though <laughs> i'm glad it's i'm glad that uh i'm at, back out of the sun for sure <laughs> I wish I had some AC though. All right, shower time. That was a hot one. Got to about 100 degrees while we were working today. Sweating my butt off. <laughs> so I need to go in here and clean it up so I don't stink. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. I just got done having myself a nice fruit breakfast. I had myself a banana, a gala apple, and a ruby grapefruit for breakfast. So. That really hit the spot, filled up my hunger, and uh, it should be a lot better for me than running over to Denny's or something like that. Uh, right now, I'm about ready to go over to this place here in Fresno called Forestiers Underground Gardens. It's supposed to be a pretty cool, interesting place. I'm going to go and check that out and take you all along with me. Now, after I'm done doing that, I'm going to grab a shower and then I'm gonna get out of town I'm gonna to head for Yosemite well I'll probably I'll probably go ahead and edit up the video for you guys tonight and then head out to Yosemite uh, yeah I think I'm gonna do that so that you guys have that to watch but this is gonna be the last day that I'm here in Fresno uh, I earned about hundred and eighty dollars working day labor after taxes and everything are taken out and uh, after the gas that I had to put in the van here uh, to get me back and forth and that should be enough gas money to get me up to Portland so I'm gonna be heading out of here and looking forward to checking out Yosemite and uh, that should be a lot of fun I really hope that I can hike up Mount Half Dome it's it's been something I wanted to do a long time now coming it would be great to prep I think to see how I'm doing now right now for uh, doing through hikes because I have this real strong desire to uh, through hike the Pacific Crest Trail the Appalachian Trail and the Continental Divide Trail it's something that I was trying to get the X you know that we just broke up um, to go and do 
ever since we met. So, it, you know, back then when we met, I was in pretty good shape. It would have been a lot of fun to go do it. So I arrived over here next to the garden here, the underground gardens. And uh, I can't remember who had told me about this place. I, but, uh, and I can't remember if it was on Facebook or on YouTube, but they told me this was a cool place in Fresno over here to check out while I was here. So I'm going over here to check it out. Now, it's interesting to me that they would set them up underground. I imagine there must be in different places some kind of hole that allows light down inside to get to the uh, plants that are there in the garden. But we'll see exactly what it's like. I'm not sure what the cost is going to be or if there is one. I couldn't find anything about that online. So we're kind of flying blind here. So I may not be able to uh, actually show it down in here. It did say that the lady did say that they don't like uh, video cameras and stuff so we'll see how it goes but uh, I'm heading down here to find out what the tour guide tells me. Sorry I wasn't really able to show you on video down there in the natural gardens. It's a really cool story. I would say the story is a lot cooler than even some of the stuff down there. It was pretty elaborate. It's pretty amazing that one guy really built all that underground you know his name was Baltazar and uh, he was Italian and a subway tunnel digger so I mean he had all the skills and knowledge to be able to make it happen you know it, it was all about a dream of his originally he came out here and bought the land here to have you know a citrus empire sort of thing with orchard wise but his soil turned out to be komochi which is this real hard not real hard but this sandstone that uh really compact nothing can really grow in it and he moved on and changed his idea <coughs> into having a mediterranean resort sort of thing and he started building it all on his own on a shoestring budget it's really cool it's so sad to me that he never really got to finish it before he passed away but it is has left us a pretty cool thing to check out i imagine his lifestyle when he towards the end when he had a lot of the stuff built out here especially once there was electricity in there in the 1930s it must have been really fantastic so down in the description you can find a link to the Facebook fan page that I have up and everything. Uh, by the way, if you're on Facebook, I'd really appreciate you, uh, you know, liking it and following that page. Uh, if you're not on Facebook, you can still go look at things on there because I don't, I don't block anything. So you should still be able to access it uh, without signing in, from what I understand. Now, the whole point of this is I'm bringing up is. I took quite a few pictures down there in the underground gardens and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna try to sort out the best ones the ones that actually turned out with the light being strange down there and I'm gonna post those up on that Facebook page for everybody to check out that would like to see some of what it's like I thought I'd let you know it does cost there is an entrance fee it's $17 I and uh, there's a military discount of three so if you're going to go ahead and, and do that, I didn't check about a senior discount. I didn't even think of that. So I apologize, guys. But I really think it's a cool thing to go check out. And, um, you know, it just, just reminds me how important it is to really focus your energies on, on your dream. And we don't really ever know when we're going to pass. And, you know, you, you need to... You need to have laser focus on that. And if you don't have a dream, I think life is a lot more about wandering. And, and I think life is a lot more difficult. Even like when we have struggles and stuff. If you have struggles and you're having hard times like I have recently, when you're chasing something that you really want, I think it's, 
I think the struggles just they're they're just not as big of a deal as they they are when you're wandering and you don't have a purpose and you know it brings me to the founding fathers a little bit and something really interesting you know in the Bill of Rights talking about the pursuit of happiness you know and I think that's really interesting because the right to the pursuit of happiness is is profound and that word pursuit I actually think it's more important to have that right to go and pursue happiness than maybe even happiness itself because I think every single thing that you could possibly have to struggle through and with when you're pursuing your happiness it's so much easier and not everybody's gonna get to ha obtain that happiness I I think some of us you know we just might not have enough years in our life to to make it but it sure does make even the worst things that go on to us in life a lot easier when you have that purpose and that dream and you're pursuing it over to the uh, planet fitness I'm gonna get myself a shower and uh, get out of town so on to Yosemite soon all cleaned up ready to go I'll go ahead and talk to you guys again when I get into Yosemite. Get out there, connect with people, live your big story, and make sure you do something every single day to it's reduce world size. Peace, guys. Day without you, my friend. And I tell you all about it when I see you again. We come a long way from where we began. Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you again, when I see you again.